All right. Undoubtedly, there's many investors now kicking the tires around ASML stock following the 17% decline after the earnings release and trying to figure out if this is a buying opportunity on the dip. Well, before you decide to buy or not to buy this stock, there's a lot to know about ASML. And in this video, I'm going to cover several factors about ASML, its near term prospects, its longer term prospects, a lot of things that investors should know about ASML stock before making a decision. So let's dive into the details. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so one of the big concerns with ASML is its diversification strategy, specifically as it relates to sales to China. What percentage of its sales go to China? Because as you probably know, the U.S. government is trying to limit semiconductor technology sales to China because it feels that China is growing as a threat to the U.S. And so you've already seen restrictions on what NVIDIA can sell to China. And ASML says that they expect sales to China to come in at around 20% of their total revenue next year, which would be in line with its rev representation in their backlog. They had a short-term boost in sales to China over the previous four to eight quarters because businesses in China that wanted these products hurried up and bought them so that they can have them just in case there was a restriction. And so now those sales to China are normalizing back down around 20% of their total revenue next year, which is roughly in line with how its business typically goes in China. Now, looking ahead to its gross profit margin in 2025, in 2022, they told investors that they were expecting a gross margin of around 55% for 2025, as well as revenue of around 35 billion. Those have both been decreased. And the sales number for 2025 has been decreased to 32.5 billion at the midpoint with the gross profit margin we'll see in a little bit being decreased to 52% at the midpoint. So sales down from previous expectations by about two and a half billion, gross profit margin down from previous expectations of 55% down to 52% for 2025. So both worse than expected for ASML in 2025. And this partly explains why the stock price is down as much as it is Following the earnings announcement, investors are waking up to a new reality for ASML stock where sales are going to be two and a half billion lower than expected in 2025 and gross profit margins are going to be about 200 to 300 basis points lower than what they expected for 2025. So here they go on to say that China business is actually on immersion and immersion comes with significantly higher gross margins than the corporate gross margin. And so that's partly why the gross profit margin is going to be lower in 2025. As I said, they're forecasting 52%, partly because of lower sales to China compared to previously expected. So they go on to talk about their next generation technology, which is the high NA and the low NA. For high NA, they see that the gross margin that they're going to recognize in 2025 will improve. But also in 2025, they're going to see the first high volume EXE 5200 tools being recognized in revenue. So that helps. But then the flip side is that they're going to sell more high NA tools, which are lower gross profit margin than the overall business. And so that's going to weigh down gross profit margins in 2025. So now looking further down the expense line items. So below gross margins, you have operating expenses. And for 2024, they expect operating expenses of around 5.4 billion euros. And that's going to rise to approximately 6.1 billion euros in 2025. They explained this is partly due to rising wage expense and due to increased investments in research and development because the company still expects very robust demand for the rest of this decade to 2030. So they're investing in preparation of that increasing demand. Moving on to free cash flow, the company says that because they experienced lower order intake in the latest quarter and in latest quarters, the lower order intake obviously comes with less down payments. When someone makes an order, they typically give ASML a down payment for that order and that's a cash inflow for the company. Secondly, 
they're preparing for the upside in the business in 2025 and 2026. And so they're building inventory. And when you build inventory, that's a negative for cash, right? Because you're spending cash to get inventory. And while you're holding on to the inventory, you don't have cash. And so it's a cash expense. It's a cash outflow. And then when you sell that inventory, you get cash. And so that builds up the cash later on. And that's what management says here. With the normalization of the business, we would also expect the normalization of our cash flow, which has dipped in recent quarters as a result of those factors they highlighted earlier. Still, they say you will continue to see us invest in capacity because we firmly believe in the continued growth of the business. They continue to plan for growing dividends as well. And they've reiterated this several times that even though 2025 is expected now to be worse than they were forecasting, for the rest of the decade, they still expect strong demand. So the worst than expected revenue and profit for 2025 is more a result of delays of orders rather than a cancellation of orders. Its customers are trying to push out maybe for three months or six months or nine months the orders of these products, and they're not canceling the orders. They're just telling ASML that they're going to delay it for a little while to wait for the market to recover so that those companies can get some more cash flow from their core business to invest in these new products. ASML's products are very expensive. Beyond 2025, they believe the growth drivers are still intact. And if you look at artificial intelligence, very, very strong, very clear and undisputed. AI is going gangbusters and it continues to drive investments in the tens of billions of dollars for enterprises worldwide companies trying to develop these AI capabilities continue the aggressive investment. What's difficult is the other side of its business. Everything outside of AI is the reason ASML expects a worse than forecasted year in 2025. So they also say that it means that they will continue to prefer for these new fab openings that are planned by their customers. There might be some delays here and there, but if you look at the planned openings in the next couple of years, it's pretty significant. So they build capacity to respond to that demand increase as they expect for the remainder of the decade. So the remainder of the decade, the outlook remains strong. It's just delayed and pushed out a little bit. Instead of 2025 being very strong in terms of growth compared to 2024, it's going to be more modest and then that is going to fall into 2026 or maybe 2027. But they still see demand from their customers. They still see needs for these products. As they're building these new fab facilities, they need ASML's products. There's no other provider of these products. And so ASML is confident for their outlook beyond 2025. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book is finally available for sale. I've been working on it for more than a year now, so I'm really excited to finally share this with you now. It goes through my framework for evaluating stocks. Some of you often ask why I like this stock or why I like the other stock. And this framework provides you the things that I look at when I'm evaluating stocks. I've added the link in the description below.